Sounds good, Adam. Oh my gosh, you're, you're filming. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I was oh, hoping to catch more funny. of that. <laughs> so, is, is, some of your fans might not have known the, the man of multi-talent that we have sitting in front of us. Adam, I was playing another hand uh, recently, uh, ran into a question. I know, I know. <laughs> um, relatively simple question. I wonder if it would be helpful to other folks as well. Um, the very, just put most simply, um, they open the bidding, partner uh, does a takeout double, and then uh, East bids one no trump after the takeout double. Mm. I'm wondering, what do I have to do? What are my options? Um, yeah, maybe you could help us out with this hand. That's a great question. Yeah. So as a general rule, right, um, when partner makes a takeout double, I'm supposed to take it out. Or I'm, so partner says, pick a suit, I'm supposed to pick one. Mm. But when my right-hand opponent bids something, it takes me off the obligation. I'm a now allowed to pass, right? If it goes a club double pass and I pass partner's double, I turn it into a penalty double. That's right. the most aggressive action in bridge. Right. But if it goes a club double and they bid a no trump, now I can just pass and let them play a no trump or whatever. So while I have to respond to the takeout double, even with zero points, if my right-hand opponent passes, once they bid, I don't have to bid. And so this is what we call a free bid situation right because i'm allowed to pass bidding means i have something i want to say i'm not just mm. you forced me i have something to say so you know if i have a, a suit you know partner asked me to bid if i have a four or five card major and you know something i'm probably going to bid um, would, would our obligation change um depending on what our right hand opponent bids after they take out double, so that East here bids one no trump instead of a suit. Does that make a difference? Or either way, we're no longer obligated to bid. The big difference is if right-hand opponent, if they redouble, right? The redouble by the responder says, I have a strong hand, I have at least 10 points, and I might even be interested in doubling them somewhere, right? Now, everyone knows I have a weak hand. Right, we have opening hand, opening right. hand, ten points, right? right? And so, my job is just to pick a suit, right? So even though it is technically a free bid, this situation is okay. Partner asked me to pick a suit. I just need to pick a suit. It doesn't show any great strength. Uh -huh. uh, but anything else, the right hand opponent bids. Yeah, I'm showing something, right? Mm. The big difference is what it means if I double. After East bids again. Yeah. If East bids a suit, my double is called a responsive double. It means I have the other two suits. Mm. So if it went like a diamond double, a spade, right? Double by me would say I have clubs and hearts. Mm. When Similar they, to a negative double. Yeah, but responders make negative double. Advancers make... Got it. Got it. Double. So if it was respond, if it was after the second suit that Dave bid, we're telling partner, okay, yeah. the other two suits. Partner said you choose. pick a suit, and I'm saying, okay, I like the two suits that haven't been bid. Okay. His partner doesn't have to have four cards in both of those, mm. right? So if I'm four four in these suits, I don't want to just pick and hope I pick the right one. I want to double and you know make sure partner bids the you know his longer suit. The difference here, when they've bid a no trump, is mm. that my double is now penalty. So double would say, I have a you know decent hand near an opening hand probably. Right. We would never want to double their one no trump. Right, doubling one no trump as a general rule is for penalty. Okay. So this hand, I don't think it's quite good enough um especially because you don't like have a suit you want to lead right one of the things you want to think about when you're doubling one no trump and you're going to be on lead against one no trump mm. is what suit am i going to lead what suit are we going to set up right mm. so if you mm. have a five or six card suit it's much better um 
for doubling one note drop. So here I would just bid two hearts. And what is that telling? That's because collectively with partner, we're too strong to just pass. For sure. So are we essentially ignoring the one note trump? We're just saying we, we do want to compete in this auction and this is my best suit. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm pretty sure this is a part score hand, right? Everybody's bidding and I have 10 points. Uh, mm. But I think we have a fit in, in hearts. Right, partner made a takeout double of diamonds. They probably have four hearts. If they don't, it's a four-three fit. It's not the end of the world. But partner asked me to pick a suit, and I have a pretty good hand here. Mm. I'm going to pick a suit. Right, I'm just following Wait. instructions. But you know, if I didn't have the ace and jack of hearts, I just had four little hearts. I could just pass. Would there be any? Um would there be any justification to pass with our relative strength and let them sweat out their one no trump contract? If you wanted to do that, you would double them, right? Like if you think that- one, go, go one way or the other, go strong. Yeah, right. If they're making one no trump, it's almost gotta be right to bid two hearts, right? Even if we go down one, we mm. should profit. If they're not making one no trump, then we should have doubled them. Mm. So if I really think that uh, going after them in one no trump is the right way to go, then I should just go ahead and double. Mm. So I would not have doubled with this hand that partner has. Uh huh. I don't like four triple three doubles as a general rule. Mm. And if I'm going to make one, I always have at least one four card major. And mm. you need some extra values. Mm. So this is a flat four triple three twelve count, dead minimum, no four card major, and you have honors in opener suit. This is just mm. a pass. Right? This would be a nice hand to def to defend one of Trump. Absolutely, right? Much much mm. better, right? Like mm. where are their coming from? Mm. Yeah. I'll just lead a heart and you know we'll take two or three heart tricks and a couple diamond tricks and yeah so i blame partner for this one <laughs> what should we hey, now that we're sitting here what uh talk, talk us through this hand how would you play it real quick sure uh so let's see we're certainly losing the ace of diamonds and we have another potential diamond we have a club loser, we have two spade losers, and the trump suit doesn't look particularly great. We're gonna lose at least one, if not two tricks there. Uh, so let's see, we have 10 points and partner has 12. So that's 22. And we figure that the opener has 12. So that's what, 34? And that gives six points to the one no trump bidder. Is my math right there? Uh, you know, one no Trump bidder really should have more than that, mm. uh, right? If you've been taking my class, you know you should really have like eight to ten points. And that. perhaps especially after a double. After a double, that's right. You don't have mm. to bid. It's another example of a free bid. Mm. Uh, so, but based on all of that, let's see. Opener is he's choosing to lead the ace of diamonds, which is not an attractive lead when he's missing the king and the queen. So that means he, you know, he doesn't have a more attractive lead like the king queen of spades or the the queen jack of spades. Mm. Um, so there's a really good chance that our right hand opponent here has the queen of spades. Um, my best bet is to hope that my right hand opponent also has the king of clubs, so I can lead up towards my queen of clubs and maybe throw a spade on the ace, but I'm really short of entries. So try to try to finesse to the right, to lead the two of clubs up towards the queen. And mm -hmm. I'm hoping that my right hand opponent has to play the king. And now my queen is high. And then if I go over the to the sure top, winner, the ace mm. and throw away a spade. Um, in the trump suit. Yeah, just talking best, about the trump suit. How do we yeah, play that? The best way is just lead low up towards the dummy play up to the queen, 
and we're going to hope that the opening bidder has the king of hearts. And we're, we're playing towards dummy because most of the strength is in West's hand. That's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. And also just like leading low to the jack here doesn't accomplish a lot, right? Unless your right-hand opponent has king doubleton. And even then you're still losing a trick. So uh -huh. you're always... So, is, so essentially, is it just coming down to the question, we think it's more likely that the king of hearts is in west rather it than is, east. Almost no matter what the auction was, I would lead low to the queen here. Huh. Okay. Because you're always losing a trump trick, or at least one. Mm. Leading low to the queen uh, is the best way to start this suit. Mm. Well, thank you, Adam. Uh, it was another another hand where I just go, I, I'm not sure if I did something wrong or um, if it was uh, an interesting question. It was partner. It's always partner. <laughs> Too often I've learned... Um, as soon as I start thinking that, then uh, it, it, it makes it too easy to um, forgive myself for the mistakes I make. So I that's, try not to. True. Right. Let the teacher tell you. <laughs> exactly. But when teacher tells me that, it's reassuring. Okay. Thank you, Adam. And thank Bye. you, everyone, for joining us. Bye, everybody. Take care.